Hi everybody, welcome back to Kids Continued. So glad you are here. Did you guys have a good week? Yes? No? How was your week? So, this week we are still in our series on letters that Paul wrote. And we're looking at the book of Philemon, Philemon, Philemon. I'm pretty sure it's Philemon. There are some strange words in the Bible or names that are sometimes hard to pronounce, but that's okay. We will learn as we go. Okay, so bear with me while I try to pronounce and remember how to pronounce these names. So in our book of Philemon, it's a letter that Paul wrote and it's actually all about forgiveness. So there was a man named Onesima, Onesimus, Onesimus, and he used to work for Philemon. And he probably wasn't a really good servant. And he actually, actually, he wasn't a good servant because he ran away from Philemon and he actually stole some stuff when he left. And he then came to know Paul. And he would actually help Paul and he would deliver lots of the letters that Paul wrote to the different churches and to people. And in spending time with Paul and getting to know him, Paul was also sharing the gospel with him and telling him about Jesus and how Jesus died on the cross to save us from our sins. And we need to accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior and ask for forgiveness. And Onesimus did this. He became a follower of Christ and he would learn so much from Paul. So one day where this letter to Philemon came about is that Paul realized that it was time for an, for Anisima to go back to Philemon and to ask forgiveness and to show also how different he was. Because when we come to know Christ, we, we change. God changes us and he helps us to become the person that he wants us to be. So Paul writes this letter to Philemon. And he tells him about the things that Onesimus has done for Paul and how much he's helped him. In his letter, Paul offers to pay the price for Onesimus' debt. Remember when Onesimus ran away, he stole some things? So Paul was offering to pay that back, but was also asking Philemon to, to forgive Onesimus and to look at him like another believer, like a follower in Christ with love and forgiveness and kindness. Now, the book of Philemon is quite short, and it is a short story. It's only one chapter in the Bible, but it is so important to us. And it is a good example of how we need to forgive other people, just as Jesus forgave us. And it's not always easy. I mean, imagine being Philemon and having to forgive someone who ran away and stole from you. It's not that easy. And I know that we all have people in our lives that things have happened and we've got hurt, but we need to show forgiveness to these people. And sometimes it takes a really long time. And it's for us to work through and we pray about it and we give that hurt over to Jesus. But in our forgiveness, we are showing Christ's love to these people. Now, sometimes it's someone who knows Jesus as their Lord and Savior. And sometimes it's someone who isn't. It doesn't matter if they're a Christian or not. We need to show forgiveness to people. And maybe it can be harder if this person is a Christian. But we need to also remember that everyone makes mistakes. And everyone has sinned and we're not perfect. Everybody messes up. But we can try to live our lives to be more like Jesus. And to forgive other people. And to let Jesus work in our lives to change us and make us into the people he wants us to be. I know forgiveness isn't easy and sometimes people have really hurt us and we're sad or angry over what's happened, but it's so important for us to work at forgiving them. So maybe you can think of someone who read already who you need to forgive. So spend some time this week and today and pray for them and ask God to work in your heart to help you to be able to forgive this person. I hope you guys have a good week, that you learn more about Jesus and God and how he wants you to be the person he made you to be.
Bye guys. Thank you.